Hello, my name is Javier Orozco, professor at the Universidad Politécnica de Valencia, and I will speak now about uh, the future of cities. We have developed different videos introducing the concept, the way to assess performance, and now we are delving a little bit more into how the future cities will be or should be in order to incorporate circular economy models in order to maximize the benefit and the possibilities of uh, natural materials and sustainability. First, we have to address always the reuse of materials. From raw materials we achieve a final stage when the products are no longer used and either they are biological which are treated through different processes in order to become again uh, new materials which are feedstock for future handling in, by society and if they are uh, physical mechanical ele elements designed by men they have to be reshaped redesigned, uh, realigned in order to be used again. So it's a more technical cycle. In both cases, when there are no longer circularity possible, uh, possible activities, we have to try and recover most of the energy which is stored in the materials and the final outcome is landfill which cannot be uh, used anymore. Uh, the basic concepts and objectives of circularity is always to concentrate on water, which is the driving element from energy, and uh, use it in order to produce food, to produce uh, different elements and services. Uh, here you have the different techniques, the design and, manuf and architecture, biomanufacturing, the community services, plant factories, education, energy recovery, and finally there is waste which we have to handle in an adequate way. Circularity tries to avoid as much as possible waste because the resources are very limited. The priorities in order to uh, get to this uh, final objective. We have to approach problem with a system thinking point of view we do not have to concentrate on our specific market for our products in our specific design, but have to address it in a very global way. And especially design things uh, bearing in mind the vicinity loop in order to produce things as close as possible to the consumption because that will facilitate the circularity. Uh, as I said, the close neighborhood supply, the vicinity loop, is most important in order to uh, reduce waste as much as we can and increase the reusability. So the key element is system thinking and close vicinity loops. Uh, the built environment, how can we get results in circulated? First, by reducing CO2 emissions, lower waste, less uh, energy requirement, less CO2 production. A high impact on critical materials consumption, which are in most cases the biggest weak sustainability problem of uh, the building industry. Building certification also tends to a uh, high impact on the mm, diminishment of uh, energy consumption, uh, that's important from the circularity approach and the life cycle assessment and the certification of materials and the final objective of a uh, reduction of 17% if we can uh, develop this in full. The KPI indicators uh, are the most important ones, uh, the reduction of raw materials, the reduction of waste, the reduction of secondary, the increase, sorry, of the tons of secondary uh, origin because that will uh, also drive to a better life cycle results. The uh, materials which are uh, reused and which is much more important than recycled and retaken in the production circle. And finally, the global circularity of material use. That's the main final objective of the KPIs. The action points. Uh, great water capture, energy uh, refurbishment in the building stop, the introduction of bioclimatic standards in order to uh, use solutions from nature, uh, to address uh, the government policies through taxes in order to drive 
the will of the individual into the final solution and also an increased use of social networks into reusing and sharing because that added value is most important in order to create a real value which is more than obvious in circularity. The activity is per phase on the designs, the deconstruction and availability, but all in all you have to bear in mind that at all stages we have to be open and evaluate not only the cost but also the maximum circularity which will lead uh, finally to a most sustainable uh, building industry and a good performance of cities. Uh, in the different phases from the design to the final execution and the uh, deconstruction, the demolishing of buildings, all these elements have to be circular and interacting one with another. Uh, in the supply chains we have also to increase the value of circularity, first with taxis and second due to the social acceptance and finally to the actual uh, better performance of industries because they can control better their inputs and this will le lead us to the final solution. In the link uh, on this presentation, uh, if you click on the here of the Outland of Future Construction, you have a very good video presenting all these concepts. Thank you very much for your attention.